On July 20th, Zhengzhou City in Henan Province was hit by an extreme rainstorm unseen for centuries. A video showed hundreds of passengers trapped in a subway train in Zhengzhou City's Number Five Line. The water inside the train was up to their chests, and people could hardly breathe. One passenger called for help using their cell phone. On the same day, a 20-meter breach in the Yihetan Dam in Yichuan County, Luoyang City, also in Henan Province, caused serious damage to the riverbank, and the dam could collapse at any time. In response to a request from the government of Yichuan County, an engineering and chemical defense brigade of the 83rd Group Army was mobilized to carry out blasting and flood diversion. Rescue efforts are still ongoing. For three consecutive days, from 8 p.m. on July 17th to 8 p.m. on July 20th, the entire province of Henan was hit by extreme and record-breaking rainfall. The three-day continuous rainfall amounted to 617.1 millimeters. Single-day rainfall from 8 p.m. on the 19th to 8 p.m. on the 20th reached 552.5 millimeters. The one-hour rainfall in Zhengzhou City reached 201.9 millimeters from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on July 20th. The Zhengzhou Meteorological Station said the perennial average annual rainfall of the city is 640.8 millimeters. Which means the rainfall in the three days is almost the total annual amount of the previous year. The station also said, from a climatic point of view, the hourly and daily precipitation, along with recurrence period, were fitted on a distribution curve, and showed the scale of the rainfall is once in a thousand years. According to official data, the rainfall in the Henan region over the past few days has caused more than 140,000 people. 17 counties and more than 9,200 hectares of agricultural land to be affected. Among them, Zhengzhou City, Ruzhou City, and Gongyi City are suffering from more serious impacts. The heavy rain caused almost all the rivers in Henan Province to rise. Thirty-two large and medium-sized reservoirs are now over the flood level, and the situation is very worrying. According to the official Weixin account of Zhengzhou Municipal Party Committee, the Flood and Drought Control and Relief Command Center of Zhengzhou City. Decided to raise the flood control emergency response level at 5 p.m. on July 20th. The rainstorm caused the Zhengzhou subway to shut down all lines and stations. Meanwhile, Zhengzhou electric buses were also shut down, and Zhengzhou Airport canceled or delayed more than 200 flights. A number of highway sections throughout the city have banned all vehicles from passing. From a video uploaded by a netizen, water was seen rushing from the subway entrance into the underground tunnel, flooding the entire subway channel and turning it into a river. Many people could not escape and were trapped in the subway trains. Passengers are seen anxiously using their cell phone to send messages calling for help, while some of the female passengers were crying out in fear, saying that this may be the last message they can send. Some messages said the lack of air inside the car had left many people in a state of oxygen deprivation. And even talking was difficult. There were also rescued passengers who said that only a fraction of those trapped had been rescued.
救援，等待紧急救援。Additionally, there were unconfirmed reports later that night saying that hypoxia and hypothermia have resulted in further casualties in trapped areas. In the early hours of the 21st, the city released an online message saying at 6:10 p.m. on the 20th, the entire subway network was stopped and forces were mobilized to evacuate the crowd. While a total of more than 500 people were evacuated, 12 people died after ineffective resuscitation. And five people were injured and have been sent to the hospital. Moreover, many neighborhoods in the city suffered from flooding up to the second floor, while in some areas the flood even reached the third floor. <laughs> Residents' belongings were washed up on the streets. Many vehicles were swept away, and some people struggled to save themselves in the flood. Many have died. However, officials have not reported the death toll as of July 21st. It seems the official rescue efforts are not adequate. As many netizens posted on the internet calling for help, on July 20th in Gongyi City, it was reported that due to severe flooding, roads entering the city were blocked and signals were cut off. The damage caused by this flood surprised a lot of people. Because Zhengzhou City has just invested 8.25 billion U.S. dollars in the past five years to combat the city's internal flooding problems and improve the sewage system, the Office of the State Council issued the guiding opinions on promoting the construction of sponge cities in October 2015, which stated that by 2020, more than 20 percent of the built-up area in the city should achieve local rainfall absorption and utilization. Zhengzhou was selected as a provincial pilot site for the aforementioned campaign in 2016. According to official documents, the city was meant to be rebuilt like a sponge, with good flexibility in adapting to environmental challenges and dealing with natural disasters by absorbing, storing, draining, and purifying water when it rains, then releasing the stored water when needed. Zhengzhou has invested a lot of resources in the construction of the sponge city. According to Zhengzhou Evening News on May 29th, by 2020, Zhengzhou has completed 5,162 kilometers of drainage network and has a 50% utilization rate of recycled water. Since the implementation of the sponge city construction, Zhengzhou has eliminated a total of 125 flood-prone areas, with a 77% elimination rate. Last year, the amount of reclaimed water reached 380 million tons. And the utilization rate of reclaimed water was 50 percent. However, what we see today shows that this campaign still has a long way to go.